You're listening to the Savvy Social Podcast, the show for budding entrepreneurs who want to understand the how and the why of social media marketing. I'm your host, Andrea Jones. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to episode number 18 of the Savvy Social Podcast. I'm going to pre-apologize because I'm getting over a weird cold And I feel like I sound kind of funky. I don't know. Maybe I sound normal to you guys, but to me, my voice sounds really weird. But we're going to we're going to work through that today because I want to talk to you about how to prepare your social media for the holidays. Now, personally, I love the holidays. Any excuse to be jolly and happy is totally fine in my book. And also for most businesses, this last quarter of the year, Q4, is the busiest time of year. Whether you sell physical products or digital products or services or something else, most of us are picking up steam this time of year, mostly because people are happy to spend money. They've set aside this money all year and they want to give it to you. And some people are even looking forward to the new year as a fresh start. So I know for my business in particular, this time of year has historically been the busiest and most profitable time. So today I want to talk about how to prepare for those social media campaigns for the holidays. We really want to be as strategic as possible so that we capitalize on all the money being spent by our people during this magical time of year. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about, um, well, I'm going to share an overview of the upcoming holidays. I'm going to give you some tips on how to prepare your holiday campaign. I'm going to give you a streamlined way to write some sales copy, and I'm going to talk about a few different metrics you can track. Now, if you're looking for a checklist that kind of houses all of this great stuff, don't worry, I got your back. I have one made for you. So if you go to onlinedrea.com slash holiday, you can download the free checklist that will guide you through creating a successful holiday campaign on social media. So before I dive into some tips, I want to just remind you about the holidays that we have coming up this year in 2018. Uh, Next up is Halloween on October 31st. Uh, We miss the Canadian Thanksgiving, so this is really U.S.-centric. I think most of my listeners are in the U.S. anyways. But if you aren't, if you could, could you uh, DM me on Instagram just so I can see like where in the world everyone is at online Drea. DM me if you're not in the US and if these holidays don't relate to you at all. All right. So we have Halloween, which is October 31st. We have Thanksgiving, which is November 22nd. Then that's followed by Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday. So we've got kind of a cluster there. That's the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 26th of November. Christmas is December 24th. Sorry, Christmas Eve. And then Christmas is December 25th. So the 24th and 25th. And uh, actually, that whole last month in December is considered kind of like the last-minute shopping spree. So you may see an uptick then as well. Um, We have New Year's Eve. So for my business in particular, I see quite a little uptick between Christmas and New Year's Eve. A lot of other social media managers sleeping on this. Uh, There's a lot of businesses, a lot of people who are like, I really want to start my business or I really want to get serious about social media. And they do that right before the new year. And so... I get quite a few um, clients then, and then you've got New Year's Day, which is January 1st. So we've got these holidays coming up. We want to make sure that we're prepared for them. So what can we do to prepare for them? So my number one tip is, of course, to start early. Start a little earlier than you think you should. If you haven't started already, you should start like today. You want to start by nurturing your social media audience. If you haven't been doing this all year, you want to keep them engaged with relevant content, consistently post good content, reward them for the attention that they're paying to your accounts so that when it comes time to share out your awesome sauce holiday special, they're totally tuned in and they're ready to go. 
You also want to make sure that you have the manpower to answer any potential buyer questions on social media during the holidays. So if you don't have help, hire extra help during this time, delegate it to someone else on the team, or set yourself a little task reminder so that no comment, question, or concern gets missed because this is vital. And if someone's looking at your products or they're looking at your services or they want to buy whatever it is you're selling and they reach out to you on social and you're not ready, which has happened to me before, you're missing out on an opportunity. So what I do is I set a little task in Asana to check every day my social media accounts so that nothing gets missed. All right, next thing I recommend is to brainstorm. So you want to brainstorm some of your holiday marketing campaigns and start with your end in mind. So write down those holidays or print off calendars for the rest of the year like print off a calendar for each month of the year, or you can go to old school and use pen and paper, just write it down and and select some holidays that you're going to run promotions for. So don't just run promotions on every major holiday. Make sure that it makes sense for your business. Do your research, figure out what your audience is tuned into, look for any holidays that relate to you, um, and don't stick to just the major holidays any any uh, either. You want to make sure that you have holidays that are kind of nuanced to what you're doing. So off the top of my head, there's some holidays like National Donut Day or National Wine Day. Use those if they make sense for what you're doing. Then decide on which promotions you'll run for each holiday. So keep it festive, make it fun, but also make sure each holiday has a different promotion. So a few different ideas you can do, uh, buy one, get one, free or buy one, get one half off, or you could do a free shipping, or you can do a bonus. Bonuses work really well because you're not actually discounting your product. You're adding more value to your product. You can bundle products together in different ways. Get creative with it and kind of assign different promotions for the different holidays that are out there. Finally, you want to make sure that you are running promotions on the right channel. So assign the promotion campaign um, marketing materials to the right channel. So if you're running something on Pinterest, you may want to start that marketing a little bit differently or earlier than if you're running something on Instagram or on Facebook. Also look outside of social media. So look into blogging, look into newsletters, make sure you have your entire content marketing, your entire digital marketing strategy on lock. All right. So after you've prepared and brainstormed, it's time to create your marketing assets. This is my favorite stage. I love the creation creation stage. And uh, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I have an entire course on how to create images for social media. And you can find that course inside of the Savvy Social School. It's part of the school. Uh, You can join today. It's $37 a month. That's less than a minute. Any patty that's less than dinner at the movies because that popcorn is hella expensive now. Uh, but you can join the Savvy Social School. You get access to the course and all the other courses in there like Instagram or how to create a social media strategy. All of those courses are available for you inside the school. All right. So Canva, if you don't know how to create social media graphics, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com is what I recommend. If you're a non-designer like myself, it's fairly easy to use. If you are a bit techy, you can probably figure it out. Uh, It's not that hard and it saves you a ton of time when it comes to creating social media visuals. So create your graphics. I, I like creating the graphics first. So create your graphics, then write some sales copy. So here's the thing. Before you go into your holiday campaigns, before you start posting, write all of your sales copy. That's my number one tip because what's going to happen is you're going to get busy fulfilling orders or answering questions or all the things that go into the busy time of year and you want to make sure that your social media is already done. So open up a Word document and start writing down benefits that your product or service has. So write down how it helps your audience. 
If you're saving people time, add that in. If you're saving people money, add that in. If you offer some sort of transformation, make sure you really highlight that. So write down the core benefits and then start writing down a few different sentences that have those benefits so that each time you're creating a post for your holiday campaign, you have a benefit that goes along with your sale. So you really want to focus in on that transformation. You want to focus in on how it helps someone today. And so they buy today, right? So if it's a product that's like, oh, it'll, you know, you'll make money in five years. It's kind of like, oh, well, then I'll buy it in five years. Most people don't want to hear that. They want to hear like, hey, you can lose 10 pounds in one month if you sign up for my program, or you will feel happier by taking this course, or whatever it is. And this is the time to get a little personal too. Share about your business journey. Share about how why you do what you do. That's a way of selling. Um, it's, it's the holiday season, so a lot of people like to hear those warm and fuzzy stories, so add them in. All right, last tip for the creation stage is you want to make sure that you are still nurturing along the way, um, and you want to make sure that you are doing kind of like a blitz. So you want to talk about it everywhere. Don't post it on Facebook one time and then don't po- and then not post anything again. Um, right now, the stat is about 10% of your audience at any given time is going to see your post. So only 10% of people are going to see if you post one time. So post it more than you are comfortable with. I promise you it's getting mixed in with the feed. Nobody's seeing 10 of your posts in a row. It's getting mixed in with all the other things we see when we scroll through Facebook and Instagram. So add it in. As a little bit more than makes you uh, comfortable. All right, last little tip here for the holiday campaigns is to track your campaigns. Now, I know we're tracking sales. I'm not going to talk about sales because sales is important, and I don't need to explain to you why. But I want you to look at some other things during this holiday campaign, and I want you to capitalize on the traffic that you're driving during this season. So even if someone doesn't buy today, they are being marketed to for the future. So make sure you're tracking your website visits, how many people are visiting your website. Um, You want to focus on tracking your email list, how many people are signing up for your list. Um, Are you increasing your followers during this time? Are you seeing an uptick in people connecting with you? You should be seeing all of those things if you're doing the right things on social media surrounding these campaigns. So track, adjust, improve, and repost. So if you notice that you're getting a ton of website visitors, but they're not converting, maybe your website needs to be optimized. Or if you post a promotion and no one's clicking over to your website, maybe it's not compelling enough, or maybe not enough people have seen it. So tweak and test as you go. And above all, don't forget to create lifetime value for each and every customer. Someone who is noticing your fabulous holiday campaign may not purchase today, but they may have you in mind for future gifts down the road. So think about both the short-term holiday campaign, but also the long-term marketing campaign. You're taking care of both your current customer base and your future ones to come. Now, don't forget to download your holiday social media marketing checklist. You can get it by going to onlinedrea.com slash holiday. And also by getting that checklist, you're signing up for my email list where I send out lots of valuable information like this podcast. Thanks so much for listening today. I hope to see you inside the Facebook group. You can find us on Facebook by searching for Savvy Social Crew or going to SavvySocialCrew.com. I like hanging out in there and connecting with you guys. It's the best place to connect with me. I'll see you there. Bye for now.